Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your API credentials as well as set your IPN, which is instant payment notification. When you first log in, you'll probably come to this page, and what we're going to do is we need to go to Profile. And this is the new profile version, the way it looks. I'm also going to go in here and show you via the classic way. Either way, they're both the same. In this one, we need to go to My Selling Tools. Let's do the API first. Just go over here, find your API access, click Update. In this one, I'm going to be covering option two, which is where we have a solution or client that's requesting a username and password from us. Now here we just click Request API Credentials. Click Agree and click uh, option number one, Request. We're not going to be covering this option here. We're, what we need to do is we need to get a uh, username and password because our shopping cart has asked for it. We just click Agree and Submit. And it's really that easy. That is it. There's our username, our password, and our signature. So I'm going to click Remove because I'm going to show you how to do it in the classic version, which is both are going to bring you to the same place here. So let's head on over now, and let's set up our IPN. So this is stand, this means an instant payment notification. So normally this is a URL that needs to communicate with your website as soon as PayPal takes the payment. It needs to be able to communicate with your website to take your client back. And it's this easy. It'll ask you, it'll, it'll basically tell you where to put your URL, what URL to use. And in this case, it's going to be clients. We just click save. And we are done. We just did the API as well as set up our IPN. And let's do it again, just in case some of you might be on the old profile page, which is still going to take you to the same place. This one, our API access is going to be under account information. IPN is under selling preferences. There it is. I'll do this one first. Instant payment notification. Same thing. Choose IPN settings. This is where you'll put the URL that your service provider or shopping cart is telling you to put it. You'll put it right here. You'll say receive IPN messages. We're going to enable it. You click save. So that's how you'll do your IPN from that way. Same thing with API access, it's going to take you right to the same place. And here we will again request API credentials. Once you click Agree and Submit, it will take you back to this page. And there you go, there's your API username, password, and your signature. That's how you do it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.